done pretty good for a lot of parts. Like in the beginning, it was kind of rough. It usually is rough in the very beginning because your characters are so weak across the board. So we had lost a character in week six, week nine, week 13, week 19. Then we went a long time without losing a character. And then we hit a boss battle, almost won too, but didn't and got wiped. Got wiped. Yeah, that happened. Then we went again, even longer without anything happening. But then we were fighting, like we were just talking about the Shambler and it was a great situation for a Shambler as much as you don't necessarily want to fight him. And we need to fight at least one of them as a part of our all bosses context for this run uh, to be able to say, hey, we checked it off. So this was a great opportunity to, to do it and we beat it. But there was still the two little extra, um, whatever they're called, the nodes or something. Uh, and those things that was just enough to ramp up our stress level and every single character had a heart attack. Yeah, see, unsustainable. Week 46 of attempt number 12, our Torchous Blood Moon all DLC, all bosses challenge run. Damn. Let's go. They breed quickly down there in the dark, but perhaps we can slay them even faster. I never played on easy to actually know um, what that was like. Good, bad, or indifferent. Okay, so let's find out here if this is the only room battle. So on short, you can have, when you're trying to beat a quest that's 100% room battles, it could be anywhere between one to four. All right, so the good news here is that there isn't four. At most, there would be three because we don't know what's in these rooms. But again, we're gonna go east here and hope that we got lucky that it is Only one. Oh, handle upgrades are cheaper. Yeah, it's definitely something to get used to also. All right, so let us keep on doing what? Come on, brain. Probably do some damage. These are some big boys. That was a pretty close. We almost pulled it off. Let's see here. So 165 versus their sun. We have actually a good chance of stunning here. Good. All right. Cool. So this is like a, it's like a mini boss of sorts. A mini, mini boss. This one's not as bad. Its health is not as high. Some of the other ones, their health is ridiculously high. All right, again. We want to get rid of this uh, stress dealer as much as we can, but I can't reach him. So that's a problem. That's a problem. A crit? To a killing blow. Unacceptable. Ears. Be... Uh, sheesh. So ridiculous game. All right, well, I need help. I need help from somebody. That's what we're gonna ask for. That's exactly what we're asking for. Um, all right, no more messing around, I suppose. Good, that one will perish. Great is the weapon that comes all right, sheesh. Way too close. Yeah, so this, this uh, unit, if you notice here, skills, you have weak and prey and then tentacle devour. When a unit, to, just to understand units, um, to kind of prepare for them if you can on the fight of battle is when they have a skill that does a mark, like you see like this one does, that more than likely means they also have a skill that gets amplified attacking units with a mark on it. So therefore that's what that unit did is it put a mark on us, took advantage of that and got tons of damage. Thank goodness for the dodge, baby. All right. 
Hmm. Right, let's actually get some damage in, and then we'll go for a stun. Um, you still just need to go ahead and take advantage of that for now. All right, um, let's do it one more time. All right, so what I've done here multiple times in a row, it still keeps it at two, two rounds, but I, I can pump it up to th a three, um, threefold. Anytime you have any buffs, you can pump up to threefold and they fall off every time you do an action. So you can go from threefold when you're on defense, then you're back on offense. It's at twofold. They kind of give you an idea how that works. Trying to manage some of our stress here. All right, good. So now I can stun you. Stun is also really important to um, really figure out which units you're going to maximize for it. You really want to get a lot of control if you're in a situation like this where the enemies have a huge advantage because you might run into a situation even if you aren't playing torchless, you just run out of torches, right? So that is always a possibility too. All right, I just want to do like get some damage in there. All right, I can't use this anymore, unfortunate. But we'll be good for a little bit here. This should be my last time. Oh, I have no more. Uh, all right, 50% additional. You know, I'm gonna risk it that I can maybe get a stun off. I did. Woo, baby. We're happy about that. Because right now we're just trying to take advantage of getting as much damage in before he can go again. You dodged. Hmm. Uncalled for. Absolutely uncalled for. That's a pretty good heal, though. All right, stress heal. And then let's go for the stun. Okay, you didn't get a chance to attack. Perhaps the turning point. Whew. Yeah, the, and stuns used to be even stronger back in the day, and they nerfed them. All right, so there is more than one room fight. Otherwise, it would have said uh, quest complete. Let's see who's got some stuff that we might want to remove. Tone Death, that doesn't help us very much. Um, Egomania, Claustrophobic, Paranoia, God-Fearing. Yeah, that, some of that stuff's really annoying. No, and she, Tone Death for its own, wow. Light Sensitive, that's fine. We don't deal with light, so no big deal. Jeez, okay. I don't even know. All right, we'll go with you. And Tone Deaf came off. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right, we're going to head north because, again, we don't know. We don't know. Now, if you have an Antiquarian, an Antiquarian is going to get bonus. Bonus loot. Bonus loot. So always use your... Oh, look at this. Want to fight a Shambler? It's, it's all you, J-Switch. It's all you, dude. Ah, uh, here's a fight. All right. Ah, <laughs> Jason's like, no, we could. We, we, we've got a torch, right? Whoa, whoa, game. Whoa, whoa. Forcing your eat squares on us. Excuse you. Man, that's a lot of food. So much food. Can't even hold on to it all. All right. Fight. Let's go. We got the surprise. What's up? Okay, okay. This is huge. Huge. Take down their main stress dealer quickly. Oh, nice. There you go. Yeah, the Antiquarian really does. And also, if you have no Torchlight on, you also get bonus loot. 
So if you notice here, you see at the bottom of this, there's only two things that are yellow for us. That's bonus loot and the chance to land a crit on enemies. Yo, what up? All right, game, you're getting a little uh, too generous with the uh, crits for your your homies here. And you dodged me. That's not cool. All right, we need to do some killing shots, maybe. Decent. Oof. You gotta heal. Gotta heal just in case. Alright, cool. Got that one. Good old rabies. Who doesn't love rabies? Eh? Alright, let's pump up your dodge. Ah, uh, you actually made contact. Not cool. Yo, Josh! Gym was good. The gym was good. Thank you for asking. Still have extra damage? We do for one more turn. Ooh, that worked out great. Ooh, we got a crit heal. Worked out legs today. A little splash of shoulders. Got some cardio in there. Hmm. Keep on stress healing here. Yeah, you need some bonus stuff. Bonus, bonus, bonus. That stun. Uh, tomorrow will be chest. How are we toying around? I've been doing damage every single turn. Sometimes I wonder why the game says that when I followed all the proper protocols. It's like it's really just trying to do us dirty. It's like you better watch out. Good team heals. So at least our health is on the, As the fiend falls, on the up and up. That's nice. Whew. And this is still going to be a three battle uh, <laughs> short quest. So we're going to still deal with a bunch of other um, hallway battles, folks. And again, with Antiquarian, I'm not going to take on, intentionally take on a Shambler. Because, for example, if this team wipes, this run is officially dead. With nothing I can do about it. Did I give you food? Okay. Good time, too. Yo, Josie! You've had your fill of rabies? Well, there you go. It's been established. No more rabies for Josie. A decisive pummeling. Why, thank you. I thought it was quite decisive. Goodbye. Oh, what? Who do you work for? Um, it depends how big of a team you take, Dragon Skull. So if you go with a team of four, you need two. If you go with a team of three, you need one. If you go with a team of two, then you're still okay. But you still can't have anyone die though. <laughs> yeah, it all depends on team size. There we go, take down that enemy. Really? What kind of speed boost did you get this turn? You have like no speed. <sighs> All right. Of course, game. Whatever you say, game. Okay. Good damage. Right. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Okay. 
A little something something. And what is this one? Okay, it's a three unit battle. We're okay with that. Out of position, that's not good, but. Okay. Oh, I can't even reach that unit. Fine. Fine. Alright, alright. Bring it on. Bring it on. Really? You landed the bleed again? Yeah. Because, I mean, it ma it's mathematically possible. It's not necessarily what I would recommend doing, but that's how you can keep yourself... You know, the run's not dead. Necessarily, if you're sitting on 15 or even 14 uh, deaths going into the final boss. Yeah. Better to kill him. Better to kill right there. As victories mount, so too will resistance. What do I want? I want you here, and then you here. A natural 10% uh, bleed resist? Nice. I actually did not remember that. Such blockages are unsurprising. These tunnels predate even the earliest settlers. I love a leper. If you can get a leper with a bunch of uh, accuracy, oh man, that's so nice. No, let's go with you next. Let's go with you. What can we remove off you? Germaphobe. It's okay, but I wanted it differently. Well, well, different. Is what it is. All right. Last battle. Everyone's full health. No, you're not. Oh, you're full. That's why. Just kidding. And of course, one more of these dudes. Gross. Very, very gross. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys stunt for this first round. We can't take on a bunch of damage. Gray rot, well, that's unnecessary. Now we have to cure everyone or heal everyone. Mm. That's right, dream races. Coming back in July. I gotta heal you. That blight is just, just nasty. This enemy's nasty too. Gross. Do I have a, no I don't, okay. I was like, do I still have one? Actually, because I have medicinal herbs, we can use that to our advantage. Oh, the bleed landed. Oh, that's beautiful. Cool. The slow death on person. On and the dodge on weak and prey. Beautiful. All right, go us here. Let's go. Land a bleed. Land a stun. Let's go. Feel half decent about this. But yeah, uh, July 20th is when the dream races are happening next. All right, I think I can get this unit down to zero stress before this place is done. I don't know about anybody else. Maybe a whiff? Okay. Not okay. Perched at the very precipice of a aye, aye, aye. As if. You know? Like, as if. That's right, but the dream races, you have a musical opening. There's uh, races, speed runs, high point, 
showcases, challenge run showcases, all sorts of things that can be done. It's just a max two hour time slot available. All right, we got him. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. You're gonna give me a little. Okay, nothing bad else happened. Let's get it. All right, nothing else. Their squeals face. Their confidence is shaken. Oh, we got some money. Because we needed every penny. All right, cool. Level four for this unit. Will tactician as well. <clears throat> School's of me. Dipsomania. Get rid of one bad one, get another one. Some 